So as you can see there, you take your first finger on the ninth fret A, hammer to third finger 11th fret A, and then 9, 10, 11 on D with the first, second, and third fingers. Then 11, 10, 11 on the D with the third, second, third fingers. Put the first finger on the G, ninth fret. And then, which is third finger D, first thing on the eleventh fret, first finger G on the ninth fret, third finger on the G eleventh, and then just hit it once and slide to 13. And then just lay your second finger flat on the B string 12. And then move your finger over <clears throat> your hand over one fret and put your third finger on 14B and go 14, 13, 12B with the third, second, and first finger. And then drop down to the G13, second finger, and then Back to 12B, first finger, and then 13B, um, G, second finger, and 12E, first finger again. So you Vintage Jerry. Starts out with uh, you hit uh, 12, 11, 10, 9 on the B string, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, and 1st finger as pull off. Hit pinky, pull off the 3rd finger, pull off the 2nd finger, pull off the 1st finger. Jerry actually does it in the space of a triplet. So he's cramming. And he 
doesn't really put any thought into it. It's just something he does all the time. So, so it's like a triplet, and if it gives you a hard time, mm -hmm. you can actually play a triplet. Either pinky third first or pinky second first. But it's actually four notes in the space of a triplet. So he just rips that off. He's thinking about what he's doing next. So then he lays his pinky down on 12. And goes to first finger on... So we got pinky B string 12 to first finger E string 9. which is uh, third finger G string 11 to pinky B string 12 to second finger B string 10. This is a really uh, awkward lick for me, but it's, but Jerry, it just sounds totally natural. that with it's very simple so we're going third finger on G string 11 first finger B string 9 second finger B string 10 and then pull that back off to 9. So after you pull off to 9B then you do 11G. So you're going 11G, 9B, 10B, pull off to 9B, back to 11G, and then back to 9B, 11G. Again, he doesn't give it any thought, he just rips it off. It's just a sound to him. Okay, then we're the second line there. So after you go, Go uh, G string, uh, first finger, ninth fret, to D string, 11th, third finger, back to G string, 9, and then G string, 11th, third finger. As soon as you hit it, slide up to 13. Put your second finger flat on B string 12. And then hit G string 13 and slide back down to G11. Then, 
go 9, 11 on the G. And then pull off from that 11 back to 9. It's tempting to go, which you can, but if you listen, you actually just... So we're going... That's all of lick two then. So licks one and two put together. There it is, regular speed. Okay, so as you may be able to see from the tab, take your third finger, B string, 12th fret, and slide it up to 14th with some vibrato and then once it's on 14 pull 14 to 12 so hit 14 again and pull off to 12 So we're going to follow that up with another 14B, like as a triplet. So you're just sliding up 12 to 14, then doing a triplet, 14, 12, 14. First one's a pull off. And then do 12, E, first finger, to 14, B again. And then go up here and do a 14, 13, 12, pull off triplet on the E string, third, second, first finger. So you just hit it once. Third, pull off to second, pull off to first. Again, Jerry does that kind of like all the time. And then go back to B14, third finger, back to E12, first finger. Like triple lift partners. So you're going.
and then do the same triplet on the B. 14, 13, 12, third, second, first finger. Right? Then it's Jerry. And then go 13, G, second finger to 14, B, third finger. And then back to 13, G. So we're going to add that, which is kind of tracing the E chord with the second finger G, 13th fret, first finger B, 12th, first finger E, 12th, back to our third finger, 14th. So we're, that whole lick is. The one part I went over and over trying to figure this little lick out. I don't know, I don't know. Okay, it's easy. It would be easy to do it like this. Nine. So we got a twelve nine B. 11, 9, G, and then back to 11, 9, G. But Jerry doesn't use his pinky that often on down there, and he's coming off of this lick. So he's in this position, which is nowhere. That that I just showed you, so what he does so he's here that's how he does it instead of which is easy if you want to do it that way but it's really cool to see how he moves his hand around. So what he does there is 12th fret B with the first finger, and then, because he's already playing 14 B. So he's gonna go 12th fret, first finger, B. 13th fret G, second finger. And then lift his first finger up and hit 11th fret G. So he's going to first finger B12, second finger G13, first finger G11, and then he's going to move his first finger two frets down and play the ninth fret G. So he's using his first finger on three of the notes, and he only moves 
with his hand like once, like at the very end, really. Other than stretching here, then he moves, and then then does the third finger down on the eleventh G, and pulls off to nine. You'd never know it. it. Sounds as smooth as a regular scale. And then he just follows up with 11, D, 9, G, third finger, first finger. So that whole lick is. And the last part of the, that lick is. That's just 9, 11 on the D, and uh, then 9, 11 on the G, so 9, 11, D, first and third finger, 9, 11, G, first and third finger, and when you get to 11, G, hit it again and slide up to 13, G, and then without hitting it, slide back down. 11 G so it's 11 so it hit, hit 11 slide to 13 slide back down to 11 it's like a grace note leading up to 13 and then and sliding back down from 13 11 so it's 11 to 13 is a grace note so and then you slide back down for the And then nine, eleven, nine, hammer pull on the first, third fingers G. So hit nine, first finger G, hammer to eleven, third finger G, and pull back off to first finger nine G. So it's nine, eleven, nine, eleven, eleven, thirteen, eleven, nine, eleven, nine. So we're coming off of, so then he's going to take his third finger on the 14th E and go 14, 13, 12 with the third, second, and first finger, and then 14 B. See there's a C sharp minor chord right there. If you were to take like a D minor it up to the so that the first finger was on the 12th fret so this is all in C sharp minor so 14 13 12 on the E to 14 B and 
then go back to 12 E and then 14 E pulling off to 12 So we follow that up with, which is a ghost bend and release, third finger E string 14, bend it up before you hit it, and then hit it and release it. And then, and then hit 12 E. hear Jerry do that all the time. And then just end up with 14B, 12E, then 14E pulling off to 12. So we already did a kind of a, the same pull off right here. just different time. Then we're gonna drop down to just the regular 12, 13, 14 on the B with the first, second, and third finger. And then he's gonna go up here, which will start lick five. So, but to, to, right, simple. That's like four. He's coming off of that from the leg four. And then he jumps up here. He's tracing a C, a C sharp minor chord. Just like if you were to do it here on the fourth fret, and moved it up to 16th fret, and just played the top part of it. And what he's gonna do, he's gonna go, he's doing the, the E string, but then using the fourth tone, so he lays his pinky down on the 19th B. So he's going up to the fifth, which is your first finger on the E16 out of this chord. So he's doing that E string part of it, putting down his pinky on the B string and then returning to the E string. I believe he's, he actually uses his third finger there on the B string 19, where I, where I told you to place your pinky down. If you weren't doing this chord, you would go, Jerry would do that, and then he'd use his pinky on the same fret on the E string right up above it. Just to give you a visualization of what he's playing around, because then he's just going to go, it's going, So he's going 16, 17, 18, 19 on the E with the first, second, third, and fourth finger. Again, vintage Jerry.
This is another one of those four, three, two, one pull offs on 1918, 17, 16, fourth, third, second, first finger. So you just hit it once. Jerry just rips it off, doesn't think anything about it. And it's actually like the one that was earlier, it's four in the space of three. So it's a triplet, four notes. In the space of three. And again, if it's hard, you can just do three. But this one's a little bit easier than the one we did before. So we're doing the... Triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it, triple it. Four notes in the space of a triplet. So then he answers that with. He kind of does a, a fake note, a ghost note. and then hits it again. But if that throws you off, just go. So just hit it, and then hit that one more time. And then go, which is second finger on B17, back to first finger E16 and back to 17B. Lift the first finger up, go G16. But he wouldn't use it on the B string. So again, when he goes up here, he's going, he's picturing the C sharp minor. So he's picturing that right there. And he's going to do this around it. So. So it's not just some random. He's got it all mapped out at the time he's here. He's just played a lick here. So he wants to move up. So he's picturing the next C sharp minor. It's right here. He's got that all pictured out. And he's going to go down. finish it off then he goes which is just repeats that 16th fret G first finger goes down to 18th fret D third finger and slides down to 16th D which is actually going to go to a B bar chord so so you hear all that. Lick six is actually the end of lick five. Right after you go. Just 
just that little part. So it's just simply that he's tracing a B chord. So he's just laying his third finger flat on D string 16, jumping up to the B string 16, and then answering with the G string 16. I think he claw picks it. St. Stephen kind of lick in there, which is, uh, so he does G, B, G, 14, 14, I, I'm sorry, 16, 16, 16, and B, C, and B, C. D string 16, first finger G string 14, back to 16 D, back to 14 G, so it's 16, 14, 16, 14, and then 16, 16 on the G. Takes that that's uh, four, uh, 16 uh, G and then slides it up to 18 and hits it twice more time once it gets there. First fingers, 18, 16 on the G. So you're sliding 16, 18, hitting 18 twice more, and then hitting it one more time for the pull off. going to move that first finger down and hit 14th G three times. So that's a pull off. 18, 16, and then 14, 14, 14. Third, first finger. First finger. So you're coming.
So that, like, is just... So that whole lick is... Again, he's back up here to this C-sharp minor chord. Remember before he started E string, B string. This time he's gonna go B string, G string. Okay, you can love that lick, right? Two sixteenths, seventeenth B, eighteen G, and then the first full sixteenth is, which is seventeen B, second finger, nineteen B, I'm third finger, sixteen E, first finger, back to the seventeenth B, second finger. So you do the two pickup notes, and then Sippy Mississippi, Sippy Mississippi, Sippy Mississippi, 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 Mississippi. Okay, so we got 17, 18, then 17, 19, 16, 17. The second full 16 is 19 B, third finger, 16 E, first finger, 17 E, second finger. Back to 19, B, third finger. 19, 16, 17, 19, B, E, E, B, B, E, E, B, 19, 16, 17, 19. So we got our two pickup notes. Then the first 16th. Now this one. full 16th is 16, 17, 18, 19 on the E. How cool is that? And then of course does one of his four pull-offs in, in a triplet, four and three, which is just pinky on 19E, pulling off to third on 18E, pulling off to second finger on 17E, pulling off to first finger on 16E. So it's four notes in the space of a triplet. And again, you could just go, But then he, again, it's just an automatic thing that he just does by ear, so he'll just throw four notes in the space of a triplet. So it's not like, it's like a triplet. Triplet, 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 triplet. Okay, we've gone over that. So then it answers that with, 16 E, first finger, it's already there. Then go down to B string, second finger, 17th fret. 
you're just tracing the top of a, a E chord up here. So. So it's 16E, 17B, 16G. First finger E, second finger B, first finger G. So we got our two pickup notes. First 16th, second not 16th, third 16th. And then we uh, do the pull off. And then we follow up with. So it's. And then we do. Which is going back to the 17th B with a, with a second finger, going to 16 G. Again, we're just tracing an E chord. So we lay our third finger down on uh, on 18 D. So it's 17 B, 16 G, 18 D. And then when you hit that D slide down to 14th, it's like one we just had, which was, this is just. So then after we do that, then we go to 14D and hit it twice. After we go 18, 16, slide on the D, and turn it with 14, 14, D, first finger. So we got second finger A15, third finger A16, first finger D14, third finger D16, first finger D14, third finger D16. So Okay, her like full cool Jerry Lick. Well, so go up to a G string, first finger, fourteenth fret, hammer to four or to sixteen, the third finger, and pull back off the first finger. So hammer, pull. Hit 14 again, really important, and go to uh, 16D, so go 14G to 16D. Mississippi, Mississippi one, Missis Mississippi one, Mississippi one. So you end up here in that 14G twice, once on the pull off, then one more time. So you hit it once, hammer, 
pull off, hear it again, then hit it again. And then move your hand over and do first finger G string 12. hammer to second finger, which is the third note of a, so, so he managed to get himself out of this B A situation and he's back to, to E. So a real simple end to it, right? He's tracing that E chord. And going back to the C sharp minor. So he just did this. And that is just 13th on the uh, G where it already is. So it'll go 13 G, second finger, B, 12, 14 on the first and third fingers, to 12 E, first finger, back to 14 B. do a ghost bend and release on 14E with a third finger. So again, you hit the net, or hit the, you bend the note before you hit it, and then once it's bent, you hit it and release it. And then, 12 E to 14 B. First finger E, 12, third finger B, 14. And then just hit 12 E three more times. So that is all of, and then it just was, just like we did before on a 12 B first finger, 13 B second finger, 14 B fourth finger, or third finger. So that whole lick is, Simple enough, right? So that is just, he's, again, now he's down here on the right side of a E bar chord. It's like a, kind of a country lick.
So that is third finger G string, 11th fret. While it's been up, hit first finger B string, 9. While you're hitting that, lift off of the third finger because then you're going to return to the third finger without it bent. So bend 9, not bend 11. Bend 11 G, 9 B, not bend 11 G. And then right after he hits that 11 G, lays his pinky flat and then hits 12 12. Right back to 11th G. So. Then he follows that up. just on the next page of the tab there, the ninth fret uh, D. Which is uh, G11, third finger, back to the B9, first finger, back to G11, third finger, back to, or er, 9 uh, G. Into 11D. So we got 11G, 9B, 11G, 9G, 11D. And then do 9G, 11D. Down to D seventh first finger.
to D11, pull off to 9, third, first finger, to A11. So we got G9, D11, pull off to 9, to 11, A. So... Sixteenth note with the first finger on the A string seven. So and then follow up with a nine bend and release on the A, third finger, to seven, A, first finger. Obviously, right? So that is just taking the third finger on the G string uh, E note, which is a uh, 7th, 9th fret, sliding it to 11. So we're coming off of. So we're just going to go up. 9, slide to 11 on G, third finger. First finger, 9, G to third finger 11 D. Love that. So slinky and cool. And then he'll do a little triplet. 9 11 on the D, first and third fingers. 9G. Vicky picks them all. And then, as you can see, just 11 D, third finger, 9 D, first finger. And then do 11 9 again, but this time pull off. As part of the first two notes of a triplet, which ends up on the A string 11th fret, third finger. So. Then 9, D, to 11, D. Thank you. 
So that is third finger, 11th fret A, sliding down to 9th A, then 7, 9, 7 on first, third, and first fingers on the A. string seventh again then E string seventh and ninth first and third finger back to seventh fret A first finger so we're coming third finger D string 9 sliding up to 11 then putting your first finger on 9 D string right where you started the, the slide from Jerry does that a lot so 9 third finger sliding to 11 on the D then putting your first finger down on 9 on the D and then go a string 11th slide down to 9 and then hit 7 with the first finger A string and then hit A 7th Mm-hmm. 